peace, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I have a special guest, Jess. Hey, Ooh. guys. <laughs> and today, we're going to be talking about celery. Celery. Such Ooh. a trendy thing. You guys have been watching me drink this like every day on Instagram, wondering why. So we're going to answer all of your celery questions today, why you should try it, how it's benefited us, and, you know, show you also how I make it. Now, Jess also has her own YouTube channel. She tries a bunch of random stuff, like anything that's kind of skeptical, yep. she tries it out to make sure it's really legit. I love to debunk a lot of things, especially things that celebrities do. So that's actually how I heard about this whole celebrity or celebrity, celery, <laughs> celery trend was all of these celebrities kept posting about it. And was Kim Kardashian behind one of the, she one of the celebrities that like really made it go off? Or? Oh yeah, Kim, yeah. I mean obviously anything that Kardashians do, touch, touch <laughs> that goes viral. So I was like, I need to give this thing a try. And I actually first heard about it from the Vatical Medium. Yes, he's like the founder of the whole celery shebang. Yeah. And there's actually a lot of supposedly benefits. I'm going to read off the entire list because there's so <laughs> many and then we'll go over what actually helped us personally. Yeah. But some say it prevents cancer. That's a huge claim in itself. I'm not going to say like it's going to cure cancer, but it could prevent it because when you're healthy, you know, yeah. you're healthy. Right. So lowers cholesterol, lowers blood pressure, relieves constipation. Uh, balances your pH levels, fights inflammation, promotes hydration, promotes weight loss, treats insomnia, helps with brain fog, calms nerves, relieves migraines. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot we've been apparently this missing out on. Green head. Yeah, one vegetable. Yep. So, how long have you done it? How long? You know, it's like a week, a month, a cleanse. How did you do it? All right. So I did it pretty much the entire month of January, and I like my. I just I loved how I felt doing mm -hmm. it. Um, but then the past few months I've been traveling a lot and so I have actually stopped my celery juice trend routine in the morning and I can't wait to get back on it because it just, it really, it made me feel alive. Like it, I loved it. I loved waking up and having my celery in the morning. It's also supposed to give you energy and hydration. That was actually the biggest shock to me was I would have this celery juice in the morning and it was better than having a cup of coffee. Like I actually don't even drink coffee anymore because- But were you like a coffee addict at first and then you stopped or like- Well, no, so I stopped drinking coffee because for some reason coffee makes my skin break out. Yeah. I have very acne prone skin. Yeah. So I cut out coffee and I just did matcha and just teas in general. Mm -hmm. But the celery, I would drink it and I would get this boost of energy and my energy would actually last all day long. Nice. So Instead it's of like crashing after coffee. Right. And yeah. so that was the biggest shock to me was the energy boost. Yeah. And how it's supposed to be taken, according to the medical medium, is 16 ounces every day, first thing every morning on an empty stomach. So right. what we both do is we make our celery juice, drink it before our workout, that way we have energy for our workout, we're extra hydrated, and then you kind of like start your day on a healthy cleanse. And you also lose a lot of hydration when you sleep at night, so you might wake up a little dehydrated. This will give you that, you know, hydration again, aside from water, and you're kind of good to go to start your day. If you don't do a full workout, you definitely want to wait about 20 minutes before you eat or drink anything. But another thing too was I actually did notice a difference in my skin. Yeah, that's okay. actually the reason why I even tried it, because as you guys know, I have very acne prone skin as well. And people were swearing that their skin cleared because of this. And I'm always down to try something that's going to clear my skin. Right. So that's why I tried it as well. I would say if you are going to try it, definitely try it for at least seven days. I personally recommend trying it for a full month for the full effect. Let me tell you my experience. <laughs> I just found I've been doing it all wrong because oh. a lot of you guys were asking me, how does it taste? How do you get over the taste of celery? I don't think it tastes good. When I first tried, I was like, oh, like how am I gonna do this every single day? And then I added lemon and I was like, oh, I fixed it, it's amazing. But tell them why that's a no-no. It's a no-no, you don't <laughs> wanna add anything. The minute you add anything, even lemon, which you think like water and lemon, that's good for you. Yeah. The minute you add anything, it actually takes away the effect of the whole celery juice cleanse. Yeah. So, I don't know, <laughs> call me weird, but I actually like the taste of it, I mean, you get used to it. The more you do it, the more yeah. you get used to First it. day, second day, you might need to like hold your nose and drink <laughs> it, but it does get better. So the juice that I have is by Breville and it works amazing. I don't have much to compare it to. It's my first juicer. It was also a gift, but I do think that they range from at least like $150. Um, but make sure you guys also subscribe to Jess's channel because right after this one, we're going to show you how to make it using a blender and a strainer. So more of like a DIY version. Right. The cheaper version. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to show you two ways today, but let's start off with the juicer. Let's get our celery ready. So there's a couple different components. 
So let me just take it apart so you can see all the different pieces. So it might look like a lot. Some people are like, juicing is too hard because there's so many pieces and components and washing. Kind of, but you kind of get into a rhythm of it. So first you put in this little thing here that goes on top. Then you put in the actual like blade that's gonna chop everything up. It'll snap in there. That's where all the pulp is gonna go. Exactly. And then this little container here latches perfectly under there. But a little tip that I actually got from you guys on Instagram is actually get the bags that you buy the celery in. Use that to actually catch all the pulp. And that way it's one less thing to wash. Oh! You haven't tried that before? No! There you go, pro tip. You learn something new every day. <laughs> and now I'm gonna grab the top and it's just gonna pop on there, pull this up, snap it into place. Then this goes there and then we're gonna juice with this. There we go. Ta -da! Ta -da! That is Complete. how you put it together. It's like, you know, playing with Legos, but adult version. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to start juicing, you also want to make sure you really clean everything off. And you see you also got organic. Yes. Yeah, so organic is very important because this is a cleanse, it's a detox. So you don't want to be putting chemicals in your body when you're detoxing. So organic. And since celery is so trendy, it's actually really hard to find sometimes. The prices have gone up. Yeah. So how much was this? Do you remember? I think this was about $4. Wow. Okay. See, where I went, mine was like two, but look how like, mine's like a little yeah. baby version. So it does depend. Like I got mine uh, Bristol Farms, but of course it's a lot of celery. This is so. way more than yeah. what I got. My, my pieces are really little. She has like nice big stocks. We're going to use just this celery. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to rinse this off and come right back. Alrighty, so now our broccoli, broccoli, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> now our celery is clean, but I did want to point out, I did not include the little middle piece. This usually makes it a little bit more bitter, and I also like to cut off the leafy parts. You could, but it also just messes with the taste that I personally didn't yeah, like. Yeah, you can do the whole thing, the whole but it thing. just makes it extra bitter. Yeah. Um, but share your cutting Tip. Yeah, so the first time I juiced ever, I was on Instagram Live, you guys might remember, comment below if you remember. I was peeling off one at a time and cutting it and someone was like, just cut the whole thing. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's how you know I don't cook. <laughs> Zero cooking skills. So get your whole celery, cut off all the butt all at once, then rinse them off and then you'll be, it's a lot faster. <laughs> you can do like the head too, the, True. all this at once. All that at once, all that at once. All you need is like this good middle stock right yeah. here. Here we go. All right, you gonna push it down? Go ahead. It kind of does it on its own a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> We've done it. So depending on the size of the celery, how much you cut off, usually one stalk is good to go. But yeah, we're now at 16 ounces. Should we do a little taste test? Taste test. Now, I do want to say, if you have never done a cleanse before, I would recommend actually maybe starting with just eight because it does get things going in your stomach. You get mm -hmm. a little rumbling. Um, so to kind of ease your body into it, you could start with eight and then work your way up. Um, it is a cleanse, so it does flush out your toxins. A lot of people ask me, does it make your poop, your fart, or your burps smell? No, it doesn't, because it's mainly just water. So you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> For me, it didn't give me diarrhea, um, and you'll probably have to go to the bathroom, I would say, about two hours after drinking it, so it's not an immediate rush to the bathroom situation. But I also think it depends on how healthy you are. So if you have a lot to flush out, you yeah. might have more to flush out exactly. than the next person. <laughs> yeah, everyone's body is different. The more toxins you have, the more rumbling that's going to go on. And I've also heard that even with dealing with acne, you might have an initial breakout with it because it's kind of flushing your skin and getting everything out. But then once everything's out, then you're going to have clear skin. And I have some... Pineapple of glasses. Pineapple glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I am all loving this idea. Ta da! No cleanup here. <laughs> yeah. Just all these other pieces. Just throw this in the trash. And you really want to clean that blade part right there. Yeah. And the Brevel comes with this little brush so you can really scrub in there. So the moment of truth. <laughs> Some for you, darling. Yes. Now, usually, you have to drink this whole. 16 ounces We're on sharing. your own. We're sharing today for the sake of the video. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these glasses. Do I need to give you more? Let's give you more. 
All right. Here we go. We have our paper straws, you know. Save the turtles. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I've, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. It's not like, oh my God, it's so yummy. <laughs> See, I actually really like it. Like, I, I now, I kind of crave it in the morning. Like, I get excited to. I just start craving it every morning, yeah. I mean, do, using the juicer is so fun. Yeah. The blender's not as cool. Yeah. Um, but I actually really enjoy it. I also think it tastes better when it's cold. I was I was just going to say that yeah. you want to keep your celery in the fridge and juice it immediately because when it's cold, it, it helps a lot. Do you think it has a smell to it? It smells like celery. <laughs> it tastes like celery. <laughs> so I think that's everything you guys need to know about celery juice. I definitely recommend it. You're drinking vegetables. There's not going to be much of a downside to getting your greens every single morning and also being able to commit to something is always a good challenge for yourself, whether it's celery juice or deep conditioning or not straightening your hair, whatever it may be. So I would say stick to it. Give it a try if you're dealing with any of those symptoms that we mentioned earlier. But now we're gonna try the DIY harder way on Jess's channel. I'll put a link in the description box. Come on over to see how we're gonna make it with a blender and a strainer. If you guys have any other questions, please leave a comment down below so we can answer those for you. And make sure you follow us on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Jess Carol TV. And mine's at Ms. Bianca Renee. I post two videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today. Cheers! Cheers!